Hey everybody, this is Anthony Vandegrift with End Time Ministries and this is Prophecy in the News. Uh, there's a big prophecy that we've looked at for a very long time that we've told you about for a while. We find it in Revelation chapter number 9 under the sixth trumpet. It's the war that kills one third of mankind which emanates from the Euphrates River area. Uh, and the reason that we've watched it and told you about it for so many years, I guess you could say, is that there's been tor uh, turmoil in the Middle East for so many years and it's steadily increased uh, as things have gone on and so we feel that it's just on the brink of happening and we want you to be aware of that. We want you to understand it. That's why we have the prophecies. We're given the prophecies so that we can understand what's going to happen so that we can prepare ourselves and be ready for what's coming. But I know that when we talk about this there's a lot of people out there who say, you know, there's no way that can happen. It's, it's not going to happen anytime soon so why do we worry about it? Um, but the two main reasons that people say that is because one, they think that all the seals, the trumpets, and the vials happened during the tribulation, and they think that the tribulation is all the wrath of God, and that the church isn't going to be here for that. So they say, why worry about it? We're not subject to God's wrath. All that's in the tribulation under God's wrath, no problem for us, and they go on. The other reason is that uh, people say that the book of Revelation happens in a chronological order, and they say, before you can get to chapter 9 with the sixth trumpet, you have to have everything from chapter 4 up to that point happen first. And since that all hasn't happened, there's no way that we can be at Revelation chapter number 9. Well, those are two ideas that go against the fact that the sixth trumpet war is going to happen anytime soon. The problem is, is those two ideas don't flow with what the scriptures teach us. So let's look at these and try to figure out whether or not these two points are true or not. Uh, let's go to Revelation chapter 12, verse number 12. This is what it says. It says, Therefore rejoice ye heavens, and ye that dwell in them. Woe to the inhabitants of the earth and of the sea, for the devil is come down unto you, having great wrath, because he knoweth that he hath but a short time. So what this tells us is that the tribulation is going to be Satan's wrath. This will be the time of Satan's final attempt to corrupt humanity. He's going to pour out his wrath through the Antichrist. Um, if we go to Revelation chapter 13, verses 2 and 4, we find that it's the dragon who gives the beast, or the Antichrist, his power. Who's the dragon? Revelation 12, 9 and Revelation 20, verse 2 tell us that the dragon is Satan. So Satan is pouring his wrath out through the Antichrist, and that makes up the tribulation. This is why we find the Antichrist warring against the saints in both Daniel 7, 25 and in Revelation chapter 13, verse number 7. So... Is the tribulation, is that the wrath of God? No, it's not. It's the wrath of Satan. The next point, is the book of Revelation in chronological order? I have a lot of people tell me this, and my immediate response is, if the book is in chronological order, let's look at something. In Revelation chapter 11, verse number 15, we see the seventh trumpet sound, and it says there that basically the Lord comes back. It's very evident that this is the second coming, but it says that the kingdoms of this world are become the kingdoms of our Lord and His Christ. If that happens in chapter number 11, then how is it in chapter number 13 that the Antichrist begins to rule on the earth? I was always under the idea that it was the Antichrist who ruled, then the Lord came back and he cast the Antichrist and the false prophet into the lake of fire, just like the Bible says in Revelation chapter number 19. Not that the Lord comes back and then the Antichrist rule. So the problem is, is when you follow the book of Revelation in a chronological order, you get all kinds of points of confusion and you have events happen multiple times and none of it makes sense. So how do we look at the book of Revelation? The best way that we can do this is we can look at the seals, we can look at the trumpets, and we can look at the vials. These are basically three vantage points of the end time period. John saw the end time period up to the second coming of Jesus Christ. He saw it through the seals, he saw it through the trumpets, and he saw it through the vials. And we know this is true because they all end at the same event. They all end at the second coming of Jesus Christ. If you look at the sixth seal, the seventh trumpet, and the seventh vial, and if you want to, go ahead and compare it with Matthew chapter 24, verses 29 through 31, you will find that the same things happened at each of these passages of Scripture, and they all culminate at the second coming of Jesus Christ. So is the book of Revelation in chronological order? Absolutely not. But if you study it and you look at the seals, the trumpets, and the vials, you'll have a better understanding of how everything plays out. So I've told you these things to challenge you so that you'll study these out for yourself. Um, but remember, when you study these things, do it with an open mind and open heart. If you go to the scripture with a preconceived idea or notion, if you find something 
that contradicts your idea, you're going to try to make that scripture fit your idea rather than making your idea fit the scripture. So I challenge you to study these out for yourself. Make sure that I'm telling you the truth. Do it with an open mind and open heart. And hopefully this will uh, help you with your understanding. If you have any questions along the way, you can always contact us. We're here to help you. So thank you again for watching. I'm Anthony Vandegrift with End Time Ministries, and this has been your Prophecy in the News.